20 years of Pokemon. 20 years! Can you imagine the first time those little creatures crawled into our hearts and lives and made every one of us, especially me, a better person? Let's just be realistic here. It's been 16 years for me since I've been playing Pokemon, loving Pokemon, watching Pokemon. I have never stopped. I've never stopped once and I don't plan on stopping ever. To celebrate 20 years of Pokemon, Nintendo has released the first three Pokemon games on 3DS. Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue for us to play again and that is great. Today I want to answer the question if Pokemon has aged well. I'm Hilda and this is Hot Coffee. I've been playing Pokemon Yellow and the question of the day is has Pokemon aged well? First of all, I have never played Pokemon Yellow. The first Pokemon game I actually owned myself was Pokemon Silver and after that of course I played Red and Blue, but never Yellow. And that is kind of sad. But I'm playing it right now. I think I have about 20 hours in the game and I'm not very far. So has Pokemon aged well? I think it does, but there's also some things that have become old. And I know that not everyone will agree with me on this one, but as much as I love Pokemon, playing the older games is kind of difficult for me now. I miss the luxury of having an organized bag or unlimited bag space or a really quick access to my bicycle. Now we have been spoiled with experience shares and all kinds of stuff that makes leveling easier and it shows because it takes so long to get my Pokemon to the right level and I'm so far behind level wise when I hit the gym leaders and it's like I don't know what happened! <laughs> as much as I love the old Pokemon games and as much as I will always love the old Pokemon games, it's become really hard for me to play them. And I know that people will be like, oh, that's your disgrace. No, it's difficult to play games that have aged this much. And even though Pokemon has aged well, because it's still fun and it's still good, and I still really enjoy playing it, sometimes I just want to open up my Pokemon X and cycle around a little bit. Of course Pokemon Yellow has this charm of the first Pokemon game that was actually in color and this tiny little Pikachu wiggling around behind you and just being adorable, adorable, and that is what keeps the game fun for me because every five seconds I'll turn around, look at my Pikachu and ask him how he's doing and he hates me. Being the Pokemon lover I am, playing the old games sure is a lot of fun, but I can imagine that newer players who started out at let's say Gen 5 or 4 have a hard time playing this and I understand that. There's not a lot of things you can do, there's not a lot of NPCs you can talk to, there's not a lot. It's just leveling, beating Team Rocket, going to the gym and beating the league. That's pretty much it, but of course you have to take in consideration. These games were made in the 90s, so were other games, but Pokemon was definitely one of the first really big franchises that came out on a handheld, and it was good. What can we say? I think it's a matter of taste and a matter of age, but has Pokemon aged well? Most definitely. If you're a really big Pokemon fan, young or old, it's always worth playing the older titles just to get that feel. This is how it all started, guys. This is how it all started, and this is what has made the Pokemon world what it is right now. I am just gonna continue playing Pokemon Yellow and maybe defeating the League in about a year. Leveling takes forever, guys. Uh, I've been in like the Pokemonist mood for like a week, so I, I just can't stop. I just can't stop thinking about Pokemon and playing it. I love Pokemon, guys.